Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've kind of gotten on a kick today with the artistic media tool, and I was playing around with some text, and then you can use the, the custom designs you've designed for text. So I'm just going to use the word text here, and you need to think about you need to space them out. So you could do two things: you could space them out like this, and then always you can go to Windows, Dockers object properties and right down here you can increase the space between them minutely at a time um, so always kind of think about that as a neat little item than trying to stretch it and visually look at it but before you do a text you've got to convert it to a curve before this will work and then Instead of using an artistic media tool up here, let's use this one right here. And it's going to open up a Docker. And we're going to pick one of my custom ones i just been playing around with today. And let's just use this one right here. Doesn't look all that cool, but it is a different text. And then you could always, you know, define this and, and change it, make it a little thicker. Let's just see how that looks pretty unique so let's uh, let's back up here a couple of times and get our word text back normal text okay and right down here it's still a curve so I didn't go too far so go control D and the reason I spread it out so because you're gonna put a border around it so let's just play with some of these custom you know strokes and that I've kind of drawn over the last couple of days and we'll just do one more and we'll do uh, this one right here let's say and then what's so neat about it like that's not a bad looking text you know it's kind of different if you're looking for something different and you can always grab your artistic media tool and open this window back up and let's go one this time and see that kind of looks like change around the text you know there's some flaws in it um, but you could go back to the artistic media tool and, and go downhill just a little bit at a time and see if those flaws will go away I wasn't clicked on the item and I'm not sure I am now. There we go. So the flaws are, they're still there. But those could be cleaned up. I'm almost assured. We would need to arrange, break it apart, arrange and ungroup. And then grab your, and get rid of this artistic media line totally. Grab your shape tool. You're going to have to ungroup it one more time. Let's just ungroup all. I normally don't like that. But see how you could get rid of that, that spot in my, uh, there's actually two of them there. So we'll get rid of that line entirely. So let's go back to the shape tool and grab just this one now. And you could play around it and see there's actually another line back there. Because I guess it's the inside and outside of the line. And somehow get rid of this bubble. There you go. And that kind of looks cool. Or you could go even further and get rid of more of these nodes. And what you're going to end up with, if you wanted this square, I would take a, this node right here and convert it left click so it is already a line and just bring this down click both these left click your mouse and turn it into a line so you've kind of got a better effect there we can still clean that up a little bit more and as always remember you can use your nudge factor i've got my nudge factor set on point zero one right now so grab your shape tool grab that node and just click over you know to where you got it you cleaned up that bad spot so that's a neat font but just remember 
artistic media tool with text. You can come up with some different, totally different text. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.